Welcome back. This video will provide step-by-step -step instructions for installing the fuel standpipe, fuel line connections, and the coolant heater hoses. Remember, safety first in all steps of the process. Step one, fuel standpipe installation. Cut the fuel standpipe to approximately two inches from the bottom of the fuel tank, making sure you account for fittings on top of the tank and slight bend in standpipe if required to get standpipe into fuel tank. Make sure you angle the cut to prevent clogging. Remove burrs from the end of the cut. Use the one quarter inch or one half inch spare port on the fuel tank if available and install supplied adapters into the port. Connect the fuel line from the fuel pump to the fuel standpipe using the rubber connectors and clamps. Route and secure the fuel line from the fuel tank to the heater. Step two, fuel line connections. Route a fuel line between the truck's fuel pickup tube and the coolant heater's fuel pump. Secure the fuel lines every 12 inches and keep away from hot exhaust and moving parts such as the drive shaft. Use the supplied hose clamps to secure all fuel line connections. Step three, coolant heater hose installation. After this installation is complete, the coolant heater will supply coolant to the bunk's heater core. The installation kit will include a three quarter inch hose, a five eighths inch hose, hose clamps, hose adapters, and cable ties. Locate the coolant hose that supplies coolant to the bunk's heater core from the truck's engine. There are two hoses that run between the bunk's heater core and the engine, and if it is not clear which of the two hoses is supplying coolant from the engine to the bunk, start the engine and hold both hoses. The hose that heats up first is the heater hose. This is the hose used in the installation. Place coolant dam on coolant reservoir, Clamp hoses with pinch pliers on either side of the elbow to be removed or drain coolant from system. Install supplied rubber elbows to exposed coolant lines and angle towards the center of the truck. Elbows are 5 8 inch on one end and 3 quarter inch on the other. Make sure you have the 5 8 inch end on the exposed pipes. Connect the outlet heater hose from the frame rail unit of the APU to the end of the rubber elbow that connects the inlet on the bunk heater core using a hose clamp. Connect the inlet heater hose from the frame rail unit of the APU to the other end of the cut hose which is attached to the engine using a hose clamp. Remove the coolant dam or pinch pliers whichever applies. The next video will provide instructions for the electrical components of the APU system. Refer to the installation manual for more detailed instructions.